part one. <laughs> so why do you guys think it's important uh, for artists to also incorporate activism into their music and into what they do. And I, yeah. I always kind of, it, it's still odd to me that you, you you have a great night and you play a show and then someone's like, here you go, here's money, yeah. you know? And yeah. I so I guess like the way I, I see it is I would do this for free. And if there are things going on in the world that could, could use a little bit of support, like just take it. I mean, yeah. you know, we're, we're getting by. Uh, we have enough money to sustain ourselves and so, I feel anything in excess because we're having such a great time might as well go somewhere else to people who are not having uh, such a great time. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. um, as I mean, in, uh, music has always been a uh, very prevalent and strong in activism and change and probably the things it's been, um, you know, especially those that have a platform, um, you know, it's, weird to try to tell them not to use their platform for something. Are you ready? One, two, shut up everyone, two, ready, yeah. I don't know, is that the hearse in the driveway or the
Can we talk a little bit about the recorded performances that you guys put on to your album you released last year, Errors That Smile? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing. That thing. Uh, that happened. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it sounded like, from what I gathered, it was the first time you guys were able to make an album fully independently. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What was it like to make an album with no constraints, without having to have anybody breathing down your neck, looking over your shoulder? Oh, it was like riding a horse naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's an excellent Which analogy. Which I have done. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. You really yeah. know. Yeah. That's why it... Never mind. <laughs> I was the horse. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> we're really going down this... this sorry. This Can we cut that? I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we, we might Are you shaking his head? No. The, the angel of a man we worked for... Uh, worked with. Yeah. That was not Freudian. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> the angel of the man we worked with, his name is Aaron Landfor, and Land he's, he's stationed oh. down in Tacoma. And so pretty much what was great yeah. about that is, first off, uh, amazing uh, person. Yeah. Great at what he does. And we just went in there and... Uh, we did exactly what we wanted, and, and he he didn't say no. You yeah. know, he was like, "Okay, you guys are weird, and you know, your ship you're gonna go down with it." <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Because in in the past, um, uh, we've definitely had a little bit more direction, which I understand. I you know, we're weird. People sh people like to get their hands on on things, and I, I get it. it's part of the business. But it was cool to just ride that horse naked mm -hmm. for a yeah. change. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on Sonic Sofa. You were watching Aster House. We were being very silly. I hope that's okay with you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Silly? <laughs> Should I say something else? No, <laughs> I, I love it. I, I can say it. something else. No, no I, I do kidding. multiple outtakes. No,